On 13th of February, Indian government banned VLC Media Software Company. This software, VLC Media, is sort of like a catch-all video player. Sometimes you will not be able to play some types of video formats using standard software such as the media player or QuickTime player but VLC would always allow you to play these things. It's just that it is better supported. It is, I think, uh, open source if I'm right. If it's not open source, then it is derived from a fairly well available open source uh, code for video decoding. Video decoding code has been available for several years now and there are many open source distributions available. I think VLC is one of the more popular ones. The question that comes to my mind is evidently the ban was imposed because uh, a Chinese hacker group called Cicada, C-I-C-A-D-A, -A, uh, had in fact uh, infiltrated the VLC media software. Therefore, anyone who is using this VLC media software would be vulnerable to hacking by the Chinese software. Today, there is so much infiltration that I don't think it matters much. I don't think any of our computers are you know, so good that they can keep out all this nasty malware that has you know, pervaded. There is an industry that is you know, thriving doing all this stuff. And I don't know by banning VLC media if India has shut off something because there are other open source distributions available may not be as easy to use as VLC media. So that's one thing that's going for it. Somebody has to go and look at a command line interface to understand how to use the other open source software. But the bigger picture remains, how secure, how safe are our computers? Well, the easiest solution for this that I can give for all of you is look at what apps you're installing on your smartphones. Be careful. Don't install anything that you don't need. In fact, you should look at many of your apps and see if you haven't used it for three months, consider removing it from your smartphone. Smartphone is the one that I'm more worried about because that's the one that you carry with you all the time. Not only that, that's the one that has audio and video. So you don't know that you are being recorded and being listened to by somebody else. Therefore, that is where the vulnerability lies. And I would also say those people who are using video software, try to use it only on laptops and also try and see if you can get two or three laptops where they have dedicated functions. One for Word, Excel and so on that doesn't have to be always connected to internet. You will need it only when you need to and other times you don't need to do it. So there are some precautions that we can take that will make it a little bit safer. However, the best way to do it is be transparent. Don't have any secrets. At least don't have any secrets buried on your in your smartphone or laptop. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications. Namaskar. No